Happy up and coming Saturday, everybody. My name is Old School Nerd, and we have a return. A band that we've done a few reactions to in the past are now returning to us. Souls of Diotima is here, and their first release, their first release of new music this year is a cover. Yes, it's a cover. And it's a cover from a song that touched my heart when I was a child, and I think it's going to touch my heart again. This is their cover of Phil Collins's Another Day in Paradise. Interestingly enough, the the um the keyboard, the keys on the original are that that dun 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 dun. It's a classic uh piano uh melodic pattern that when you anyone hears the intro to this song, they immediately know what it is. It's one of those songs. It's a classic. All right, this one's four minutes fifty-three seconds. Souls of Dio Timo from Italy. Yes, from Italy. Some of my favorite bands come from Italy. Frozen Crown. Freaking um let's let's remember Frozen Crown keeps adding members, so they may have to change their name to Frozen Super Crown. I don't know. They just keep adding members. And then of course we have Win Rose. We love Win Rose. There's just and there's another band. God, I'm trying to remember. Uh, it's, it's a bunch of guys singing about planets. And, and soccer matches. Um, smart guys with really bad outfits. Ah, yes, Nano War of Steel. So yeah, some of my favorite bands are from Italy. I know, it's so let's add another one to the list. They're back, Souls of Diotima, Another Day in Paradise. Let's check this out. There's that classic hook. Low end metal. I'm in. Okay, so Phil Collins was known. Number one, Phil Collins is one of the greatest vocalists in history, whether you want to admit it or not. He's on so many iconic songs through the 80s and 90s. How many? I mean, I think between him and Elton John, they've soundtracked more Disney movies than anybody. That's pretty good coverage. Um, he does have an iconic voice, but his voice is very accented from the UK. This is no doubt a very Italian accent. It's all she's singing in a very Italian pace and uh and composition. So it's not going to match up to the original. What I'm trying to see how it goes is they are tuning down the melody to deal with that darker metal vibe, which I like. I want to see where she goes with chorus her tags are not as pingy as phil collins but then we have to remember nobody does that the way phil does so you really can't mimic that otherwise it just sounds like you're just copying this is kind of a cover um i like this it's subtle and she is instead of a desperation sound it sounds almost like she's casting a spell. Yeah, uh, no victim here is how it looks to me. More along the lines of maybe um, a struggle of power. Another day for you, you and me. 
I wasn't sold on the verse. I am sold on the chorus. There's a lot of songs, pop songs, from the radio back in the 80s and 90s, mainly the 80s, where all the metalheads wish, wish, man, I just wish it was heavier. Man, I just wish it was like louder and more metal. It's a great song, man, but it's, it's freaking Phil Collins, bro. It's not even Genesis. Lend of Confusion, Phil Collins. It's pop singer Phil Collins on the keyboards. Okay, well, here you go. Also, I got this Cousin It thing going. Sorry, hold on. No. Okay, we'll go with that. Because I had her looking like Cousin It, and that's not good. All right. Um, her power is undeniable. Her Italian accent cannot be, cannot be um, um, overcome. It, she's going to have it. It's part of her love. We love it. Um, she does have such a powerful vocal style. And my favorite part was the use of rests and downbeats. Very deliberate, very impactful. Now, I think it works really well as a metal song. I really do. Surprise Disturbed hasn't done this. Wait, have they? Someone check. Has Disturbed done this one too? I think they've done every Phil Collins song and Genesis song that's popular. Disturbed has, pretty sure. Check for me? Thanks. All right, they're gonna check for me and let me know. Or you guys can just tell me in the comments. I like this more. Okay. I didn't like the first verse as much because it was very subdued and it seemed like she was being restricted. Not here at all. This is much better. I like this much more. Okay. So here it is. Souls of Dio Tima. If you play this live, please do. Uh, do not hold back at the beginning. Just go straight into it big because it's really good big. I like this. I like the aggression. I like the power behind it because now it's not desperate. It's more of a, a call to action, which I like. How many times did you really listen to a song from the 80s and wish it could be a power metal hit and it never was? And then now they can be? I like this a lot. I It's... Oh. But you know what? They never step away. They don't change the rhythm section. They don't change the tempo. They don't change the core chord progression. They keep everything true to the original. They just amp it up and just create something a little bit bigger, but still play pay homage to what Phil did. That is very important. It's one of the reasons why Frog Leap Studios is huge. It's one of the reasons why Tommy's doing so well. Tommy O'Hanson's cover channel is doing so well. Um, I mean, think of all the Jonathan Young, Peyton Parrish. Think of all these amazing uh, vocalists that make these amazing covers of songs. They elevate them in the metal world. And then you're like, a lot of them are very successful because the people that love the original respect what's being done. And that's what they're doing here. I like this a lot.
That's good. That's really good. <laughs> remember um I, I don't i think it was um was it last year or the year before uh possibly 2022 um it was the dark lady you remember the dark lady the that blood witch one that we watched before that we did a reaction to that oh to this day that still scares the that one still scared the bejesus out of me so yeah i we've reacted to this band before i'm so glad to see them back and they've done an outstanding cover of a of an iconic song from the 80s, a song that I remember when I was growing up um, and an iconic vocalist. And she really killed it. Um, again, I felt holding back at the beginning was needed because of the song. But man, once they kick off after that first chorus and they just never hold back and they just make it as powerful as possible, it really shows emotion and passion, which I absolutely love. All right. Souls of Diotima from Italy. They are back and look forward to more. Um, thank you very much for They let me know this was coming. They said, are you going to do a reaction? And I said, are you kidding me? Is there a scary blood witch involved? And they're like, no. I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, I don't care if she comes. She's pretty cool. All right, everybody. That was it for me. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Please check out Souls of Diotima. I have all their information in the description below. And with that, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right over there. A big thank you to all my Patreons out there for everything you do. And if you want more content like this, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.